Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for February 13th of 2024 is titled A January Wolf Moon. So what do we see here? Well, as you might expect from the title, we see our moon and you can see it there towards the center, the little bit of a halo around it. And we can see that it is a full moon, the full portion of the illuminated face of the moon pointing toward Earth. Now that occurs once a month and that occurs when the moon is opposite to the sun in its orbit around Earth so that the sun will be on one side of the sky and the moon will be exactly opposite. So for example the full moon will always rise right as the sun sets and set as the sun rises. Now here with multiple exposures we can also see the clouds around it almost like the mouth of a wolf maybe gobbling up the moon here. And while this is called the wolf moon it actually is uh, there is actually a name for each full moon in each month. So in general there will be one full moon each month because that is where we get our month from. The month is related to the cycle of the moon's phases and that takes 29 and a half days which is comparable to the length of our month. So in general there will be one full moon each month. There are occasions where there will be two one at the very beginning of the month and then one again at the very end of the month. So that can occasionally happen but that's every couple of years and sometimes is called a blue moon because of its rarity. Now our moon goes through phases as it orbits Earth and that is not unique to our moon. It's nothing special about the moon. It is simply any solid object that is not emitting its own light is going to go through a set of phases. Now we see this for our moon because it is the closest object and large enough for us to see that cycle of phases directly. However, someone on the moon would also see Earth go through the same set of phases. And from Earth with a telescope, we can actually watch the two inner planets Mercury and Venus go through phases as well. So if you were on another planet, you could see that planet's moons go through phases. If you were somehow in the atmosphere of Jupiter, you would watch Jupiter's moons go through phases at the exactly the same way Earth's moon does. So the phases occur because we see half of the moon from Earth and half of the moon is always illuminated from by the sun. Now those two don't always line up as they do at full moon. So sometimes we are only seeing a portion of the illuminated part and a portion of the darker part of the moon. So a portion of the daytime of the moon and a portion of the nighttime. And as that changes over the course of the month, we will go through the cycle of phases from a very thin crescent up to full moon and then back to a thin crescent again. And that is the entire cycle of phases, which takes us about one month. So that was our picture of the day for February 13th of 2024. It was titled a January wolf moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a field of roses. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.